Good evening. This is All India Radio Kohima. I'm Jonas Yantan with evening news. The headlines. President Ramnath Govind presents National Sports Awards 2021. Vice President M Venkaiah Naidu emphasizes the need to build an inclusive society that is sensitive to the needs of differently abled persons. Union Law Minister Giran Rijiju launches Citizens Daily Law mobile app. And Defence Secretary Dr Ajay Kumar releases a book titled Force in State Craft. As India achieved the milestone of vaccinating 100 crore people against COVID-19, All India Radio salutes all the people, doctors, nurses and others who make this possible. Even though the country has achieved this feat, we caution our listeners that the battle against COVID is not yet over. We appeal to our listeners who are yet to get fully vaccinated to get vaccinated at the earliest and also help others to get vaccinated. During the festival season, please follow these three simple steps. Wear a face mask, maintain 6 feet for social distancing, focus on hand and face hygiene. For any covid related information and guidance, contact National Helpline numbers 011-2397-8046 and 1075 and state helpline number 1-0-0-3-4-5-0-0-1-9. And now the news in detail. President Ramnath Govind today gave away the National Sports Awards 2021 at Rashtra Padipavan. This year, Major Tian Chan Kale Ratna Award has been given to 12 sports persons. Major Tian Chan Kale Ratna Award is given for the spectacular and most outstanding performance in the field of sports by a sports person over a period of the previous 4 years. 35 sports persons have been honored with Arjuna Award this year. Arjuna Award for outstanding performance in sports and games is given for good performance over a period of previous 4 years and showing qualities of leadership, sportsmanship and a sense of discipline. The president also presented Drona Charya Award to outstanding coaches in sports and games and Tian Chan Award for lifetime achievement in sports and games. Maulana Abdul Kalam Mazad Trophy for 2021 has been given to Punjab University Chandigarh. Vice President M Venkaiah Naidu today emphasized the need to build an inclusive society that is sensitive to the needs of differently abled persons. He said that people with special needs require empathy and not sympathy. Interacting with the staff and trainees of the Composite Regional Center (CRC) for skill development and rehabilitation of persons with disabilities at Nellore in Andhra Pradesh today, he said that differently abled persons can excel in any field if an enabling and conducive environment is created for them. Naidu called for creating disabled-friendly public infrastructure for barrier-free travel. He also urged the private sector to come forward and actively provide employment to people with disabilities. On this occasion, the vice president also distributed aids and appliances to the divyang beneficiaries. As part of the Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav, Law Minister Giran Rijiju today launched Citizens Daily Law mobile app and felicitated frontline functionaries at a function in New Delhi. This app would connect the beneficiaries directly with panel lawyers offering legal advice and consultation. Post the launch, this mobile app in Android version would be available on Google Play Store for download. He said this app will go a long way in serving the people of the country in terms of legal aspects. Rijiju said that there is a need to bring changes in a working system with a view to empower the citizens and to give a boost to the development of the country. The minister said it is the responsibility of the government to ensure justice to the poorest of the poor through whatever services they need. Defence Secretary Dr Ajay Kumar released a book titled Force in State Craft. The book is a compilation of essays on topics including counterinsurgency operations, conflict in the northeast, air power and nuclear posture which gave conceptual understanding and facets of India's national security. The contributors of the book are all stalwarts of the armed forces who have vast operational experience and understanding of several important cornerstones of forces and its applications. In his address the defense secretary praised the efforts of the commanding NDC Air Marshal Tiptentu Chowdhury and President's Chair of Excellence at National Defense College 
Air Vice Marshal, retired Dr. Arjun Subramaniam, for obtaining the views of a galaxy of eminent authors and compiling them in the form of a book in a short period of time. This news comes to you from All India Radio, Kohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on the YouTube channel, AIR News, Kohima. The Department of Expenditure on the Ministry of Finance has released an amount of over 8,453 crore rupees as health sector grant for the rural and urban local bodies of 19 states. The grants have been released as per the recommendations of the 15th Finance Commission. The Commission in its report for the period from 2021-22 to 2025-26 has recommended a total grant of four like 27,911 crore rupees to local governments. The Ministry said health grants to the remaining nine states will be released after their proposals are received from the states through the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. Indian Railways has issued an order to discontinue the special duck for mail and express trains and revert to pre-pandemic ticket prices with immediate effect. In a letter to Zonal Railways yesterday, Railway Board said trains will now be operated with their regular numbers and fares will revert to pre-pandemic prices. Railways have been running only special trains since the lockdown was eased. Long-distance trains and even short-distance passenger services are being run as special trains with slightly higher fares to discourage people from avoidable travels. Nagaland Pradesh Congress Committee, NPCC, led by its president, K. Tere, concluded a tour of Mon District as part of the crusade against unfaithful government. Former MP and All India Congress Committee in charge of Nagaland, Dr. Ajoy Kumar, joined the NPCC door team. The team visited Shangha Chinyu village and had a public meeting with the Ang GP's village council members, church leaders and students' union leaders. In another meeting with the party officials at DCC Mon office, K. Teddy enthused the party workers to work for the 2023 general elections. He encouraged the party workers to be dedicated and determined more than ever before and reach out to the people. Nagaland Governor and the Chief Minister have extended Ahuna greetings to the Sumi community and the people of the state. Governor Professor Jagdish Mukhi in a message said the festival is celebrated in purity of body and mind and in gratitude for a bountiful harvest. He hoped that a festive spirit of oneness and bonding will restore one's faith towards peace and progress and make the younger generation more aware of the community's ancient rich history, philosophy of life and culture. The governor wished all a good health and happiness on this significant occasion. Extending greetings, Chief Minister Nipirio hoped that a post-harvest festival bring peace, foster harmony and unity. Rio wished all a happy and safe Ahuna and good fortune for the coming year. Nagaland reported five new positive cases of COVID-19 and nine recoveries. Of the cases reported, three were detected from Dimapu and two cases from Kohima. With this, state's total cases have reached 31,978, while total recovered cases now stands at 30,073. At present, there are 163 active cases. And now to end the news, here are the main points again. President Ramnath Govind presents National Sports Awards 2021. Vice President M. Venkai Naitu emphasizes the need to build an inclusive society that is sensitive to the needs of differently abled persons. Union Law Minister Giren Rijiju launches Citizens' Tele Law Mobile app. And Defence Secretary Dr. Ajay Gumar releases a book titled Force in State Graft. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.